If you clicked on this video, I'm sure you already know what Project 06 is. If you have no idea what I just said, Sonic the Hedgehog released in 2006, or Sonic 06 for short, is a really bad and buggy mess collectively agreed to be the worst Sonic game ever. Project 06 is a fan remake of that game that fixes the game's controls and mechanics, turning it into a good Sonic game. Project 06 only consists of the levels from the original game, with no stories or hub worlds to explore. Upon realizing this, I had to ask myself, why should I even bother to play Project 06 if it doesn't even have a story connecting these levels? I had this question in my mind for the longest time, until I suddenly had the urge to finally play the game and as soon as I saw that B rank at the end of the first level, I knew what I had to do. First up we have Wave Ocean. This stage introduces us to the formula of the levels to come. Run as Sonic, see the stage set piece, maybe play as another character, and then you get to a mock speed section. These sections are usually at the end of certain levels where you run super fast to an almost uncontrollable extent in a straight line. Oh my god, I'm going so fast. All I had to do for this level was not get hit once for that ring bonus, rack up my score by beating enemies, go through rainbow rings, and just be fast. And that's what I'll be doing for every level. S rank. That was incredible. It took me about like 26 minutes, so I'll give it a little challenging. It wasn't that bad. Dusty Desert is next, and Elise is here. Elise is somebody relevant to the plot, but there's none here, so I won't even try to explain. But what's important about her is the special power that she gives Sonic. It's a shield that prevents him from sinking into quicksand. Bro, 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 what the f***? What the f***? This power is never explained. All I had to do for this level was stay in the air through homing attack chains, not get hit, and S rank. I don't believe it! It only took me 10 minutes, and yeah, it was pretty easy. White Acropolis is next, and I hate this level. You start the level on a snowboard, which would be cool, but you can't even damage the enemies attacking you, which was frustrating. I had to play as Tails again, and there's this big open area at the end of the level giving you no direction, so that's annoying. I don't know what was wrong with me, but in the snowboard section, the camera flips around to show you that a giant snowball is chasing you, and for a couple attempts, I just could not comprehend that I had to press down instead of forward, so I just kept on dying like an idiot. Oh, what is happening? I knew being stylish wasn't a possibility in this level, so I prioritized beating as many enemies as possible to maximize my score so that it would carry me to an S rank, which is what it did. That was incredible. For ranking it on the list, I'm going to give it hard. I'm going to say hard. Nobody wanted the skateboard back. Crisis City. This level's good. I just made it miserable for myself. L let me break it down for you. You start the level on a snowboard, again, but this time you're not snowboarding, you're sliding across the buildings of a burning apocalypse of a city. You do tricks and fly past flame geysers, go through this half pipe, do a trick, more half pipes, rails, more rails, staying up in the air, more level I don't feel like explaining, cool flame tornado, oh! and finally a mock speed section. My favorite. What? No! No! So how is this stage miserable? Well, I was convinced that if I lost any rings, I wouldn't get the S rank. There goes all of my 150, 70 rings. I didn't even beat the level to actually confirm if that would be true. Combine that with it being a long level, and I was stuck there for a whole hour, and I only cleared this stage once. But what rank did I get? S. That was incredible. This was a horrible experience, and I'm never getting that hour of my life back. Um, obviously it's a perfectionist. I, I only made this tier just for this level. Flamecore is a level in a volcano. I like this level, but there's always some funny business that transpires whenever I play this game, so... Oh! I kept getting hit, playing like an idiot, and Knuckles. I'm not blaming Knuckles for this, but there's this area with a door you have to unlock by turning on these five orb switches. I didn't realize that I had to punch these glowing orb things to open the door, and I wasted two minutes trying to figure that out. What the f***? Am I stupid? Oh, I have to kill them. How did I not get it? Are you gonna open? Oh my god, I fumbled everything. I fumbled everything. Now I'm just mad. I have to punch these things. Oh my god. Oh my god, Knuckles, you sold everything. Knuckles, it's all your fault. Oh my god, Knuckles, it's all your fault. I've been here for seven f minutes. But other than that, S rank. That was incredible. After saying all that, it only really took me 20 minutes and it actually wasn't that hard, so yeah, a little challenging. Radical Train is another good level. You know, 
without the super annoying upper path at the beginning of the level that keeps locking me onto a rail and not the rainbow ring I want to go through. Go what the f*** are you doing? The strategy was simple. Beat enemies to rack up score, be quick, and survive the mock speed section. This mock speed section in particular sucks, and I hate it. You can barely dodge these cargo trains, and you feel especially fast this time around, making it even harder to control. Oh my god, oh my god. He's too fast. He's too fast. Even on my S rank run, I still smashed into a wall twice. S rank. This also took me 20 minutes, and I'm gonna put it in pretty hard only because of the mock speed section. Tropical Jungle. Elise is back in our arms and she can make us run on water. This is also never explained. This level is pretty fun. It has you swinging on vines and speeding on rails midair. The level only took me 10 minutes to S rank and I definitely activated the shield before touching the water. This was not deserved. Oh, oh my god. Easy. Kingdom Valley. This is my favorite level right next to Crisis City. It's a simple, easy, and well-designed level that feels good to play. Until Silver showed up and ruined it all. After jumping, you can press and hold the A button to levitate and move around in the air. Silver, what the fuck? I had no clue what I was doing and it made another knuckle situation where I was lost just standing there in the middle of the level. It took me about three attempts before I got comfortable with Silver and I like him a lot. King of the Valley also happens to have a good mock speed section. It's a great set piece with rain flying onto the screen and Sonic flying on water through a tornado thing. The jumps at the end are really iffy though and I thought I was dead each time I jumped. S rank. It took me around 30 minutes and I'm going to give it hard just because of silver. Lastly we have Aquatic Base, a level that has you play as all three Sonic team members. It also happens to be a lengthy level that had me making stupid mistakes constantly so I did not have a good time for the most part. There isn't that much to say with this level, it's kind of just a regular factory facility area that is generally well designed. Where the f do I go? This metallic ball thing threw me off. Oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck? And I don't like this part of the level with the death pit and the moving platforms. What? Yeah, I'll f with the platforms. It was almost a Crisis City situation again, but I just gave up on the rings and beat every enemy I saw, relying on the score again. My score was monstrously massive at the end of the level with almost no rings to my name. S rank. That was incredible. This also took me 30 minutes and I'll give it perfectionist, but definitely not harder than Crisis City. I lied. There's an extra Tails level at the end. It's kind of cool though, I guess. That's not funny. It's pretty cool, but I didn't know where to go at a certain point. That's also just my fault. Other than that, it only took me 10 minutes, so I'll give it easy. And that's the list. Overall, this whole thing took me four and a half hours to complete. That's almost as much as Radon. I can confirm it's decently hard to S rank Sonic's levels, and I'll do Shadow and Silver's levels if this video does well. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It's a great motivator, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.